My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Moon Knight Season 1 and this will be a spoiler filled review so if you haven't seen it go and watch it then come back and watch my review because I will be going in depth. Now I have not been a fan of the MCU TV shows. WandaVision started off strong but lost its way pretty quickly. Falcon the Winter Soldier I thought was really bad. Loki was absolutely terrible and I had zero interest in What If or Hawkeye so I was just like you know what I think I'm done with these shows. But the premise of the show did intrigue me. I heard really great things about it and after watching Moon Knight I can confidently say that I am never watching another MCU TV show again. I think they'll all range from bad to just straight out terrible. Like this show has got a great premise of this superhero who has this split personality that's also filled with Egyptian mythology. Like this show should be so great and it just feels like more of the same Marvel. I do think the first episode had some potential for the rest of this series. The way it sets up the characters and what's going on, it did grab my interest. There's a few scenes where he keeps blacking out and he wakes up with blood on his hands and he's just like, what's happening to me? And I really like that. There's one scene where he has the scale up in his hand and Ethan Hawke is trying to grab it and he keeps moving it and staying, keeping the scale up away from him but he wants to give it to him and I really like that aspect and I'm just like, you know what? This show might be goofy, it might be fun, it might be different, I'll keep watching and I wish I didn't. There is lots of potential here, not just in the character, but even in what they're going for here. Like, they're going for a Raiders of the Lost Ark type of vibe to it. Like, if I had to describe this show, it should be Split and Raiders of the Lost Ark mixed together. And that should be excellent. But once again, it just feels like more of the same generic Marvel formula and I'm just sick of it at this point. It never feels like this show is made because there's a story to be told. It never feels like this show is made because there's a strong vision behind it. It feels like it was made just so they could make a Moon Knight TV show. And there's just no reason why they should have even made this into a TV show. Like, just because you can't do it doesn't mean you should. And after spending, like, what, five hours with this character, I feel like I don't know him even remotely as close as I did Tony Stark in the first Iron Man movie, or Stephen Strange in the first Doctor Strange movie, or Captain America, Steve Rogers in the first Captain America movie. I spent all this time with him, and I don't know him any better than I knew those characters in two hours. That's a serious issue. There's not nearly enough character work or story here to justify the amount of time that was spent on this show. It shouldn't have been a TV show at all, period. Put it into a two hour movie, condense it, make a title, actually have a vision behind it, lean into the adventure genre that it wants to be a part of, fill it with all that Egyptian mythology, and you could have something really special. But because it's so stretched out, so much of it just meanders and because there's no vision, there's nothing about it that stands out and it's just so remarkably dull. By the end of the second episode, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I have four more episodes? You kidding me? It's very terribly paced. There's like no energy here. And like I said, there's no distinct vision behind it. Now this show has a couple of directors, but it seems like the big guys behind this one are... Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, who are two independent directors who lots of people love. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not one of them. Now, they made this movie called Spring, and it's easily the best movie. That movie is great. You should check it out. But then they also made a few other movies. One of them was called The Endless, which lots of people loved, and I didn't find it to be all that good. And then they made a movie called Synchronic, which I just found to be really bland. It feels like the pilot of a TV show without anything happening. So there are two directors who I'm not really too big on and they brought nothing to this show. There's just nothing about this show on a visual level that makes it look different than any other Marvel show. And I actually found it to be very poorly lit. There was moments where I'm just like, what's going on? Like I could hardly see a thing. So I didn't like that. I also think this show has a completely wrong tone. It's quite clear that they're taking this very seriously and they're trying to be emotional in moments. And it never succeeds in that. In fact, I wish this show leaned into the camp territory 
and just made it fun and goofy and campy in all the best ways. Like, I mean, you've got Oscar Isaac giving this performance where he switches between this British guy and this very serious man. And you could have so much fun with that, lean into that for some great comedy and just have something about the tone of this show to allow it to stand out. But once again, it just takes itself too seriously and it just feels like every other Marvel property. There's no sense of escalation throughout this season. There's no sense of urgency to anything going on. You don't feel like the characters have to get to a specific place fast. You don't feel like they have to find something fast. So that really does take you out of it. And I did find the CGI in this show to be quite bad and quite lazy. Like it's just more of the same that we've already seen from Marvel. Lots of purple lights and shiny. And there was one moment where they reversed time and there should have been an amazing looking sequence. And it just looked so CGI heavy and just so lacking. Just no real creativity behind that sequence. As uh, a soundtrack to this show wasn't that good. There was one song that I really liked that's like, Every day I wake up. I like that song a lot. But they did overplay it. And the only other song I can remember is they play Wake Me Up Before You Go Go in an action sequence in the very first episode. And it did not fit whatsoever. And it's taken me a while, but let's finally get to the cast of the show. Beginning with Oscar Isaac. Everyone is losing their minds over his performance. I've seen people say that this is one of the very best performances in the MCU and I think those people are absolute nuts. Are you kidding me right now? Look, I love Oscar Isaac as an actor. He was amazing in Inside You and Davis. He was great in Ex Machina. He's also the only good part about the Star Wars sequel trilogy. But he is not all that good here. Now, I do think he plays the two distinct personalities well enough. When he's Steven, you can tell he's Steven. When he's Mark, you can tell he's Mark. But all he's really doing here is playing two very one-note characters. He does hit those emotional beats he needs to, but I just found his performance to be very lacking. I feel like you've seen everything that he has to offer in the first episode. So I'm not saying he did a bad job. He did a fine job, but nothing all too impressive. Then you've got Ethan Hawke who plays the villain and I love Ethan Hawke as an actor but my goodness he just is completely wasted here. The villain was incredibly dull, bland, just does nothing to stand out. It's a shame that they got someone as talented as Ethan Hawke and wasted him just like this. Then you've also got Mei Kalamaui who I have never seen in anything else before, I don't think. And I thought she was fine in this for the most part. She doesn't elevate it or anything, but she's not bad. I will say I hate the direction they take her character in the very end by giving her superpowers all of a sudden. I don't think that was owned. I don't think it was needed. And it just feels like they're trying to give all the romantic interest powers all of a sudden. I mean, you've got Thor 4 coming out soon where Jane Foster is a female Thor and... I know why they did it, I just don't like the fact that they gave this character powers in the very end. And then you've got F. Moy Abraham who voices Kunshu. And okay, Kunshu kind of looks like Alec Baldwin in Beetlejuice in that one scene where he stretches out his face. Just that's who he reminded me of. But F. Moy Abraham, you only have his voice and that's enough because he's just got one of those voices. But overall, I did not like this show at all. It was better than Loki, but I think it's below WandaVision and Falcon the Winter Soldier. You've got lots of great ideas and lots of potential, but it all falls completely flat and just delivers yet another underwhelming and generic MCU TV show. There's nothing about this show that's going to stay with me. I didn't find it to be emotional, I didn't find it to be thrilling, I didn't find the characters to be all that deep or compelling. It's just a show that went on for far longer than it needed to and just bored me. I don't think there was any reason for this to be a 5 hour TV show instead of a 2 hour long movie. So I'm going to go ahead and give Moon Knight Season 1 a 3 out of 10. Okay, one last thing I forgot to mention is that there's that one episode where he's in the mental hospital and they're like, oh... All of this has been in your head and you know that's not the case but I just thought of that one community episode where John Hudgman's like Greendale isn't real and that just cracked me up but um yeah if you do want a fun campy stupid movie that deals with 
Egyptian mythology and recommend Gods of Egypt. It's not a great movie, but it's fun for... <laughs> it, it's fun. Have a few friends over, have a few drinks, you enjoy it. But what did you think of Moon Knight Season 1? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.